Hello there, it is time. Today we are going to be fully finishing off this event, apart from some of the hatching, but we are about to hit 1200 talismans and that means that we can finish off this event. So there we go, we are now at 1219 talismans and this means that now we can go into the Divine Altar and get our hands on Ameno Uzume. So there we go, 1200, and that is the second divine that we needed to unlock Chrono Isis. So if we claim Ame no Uzume now, we're also going to get a few rewards from the milestones. We're going to get a black sacred apple. Disgusting. Never show me that again. And so now, this means that we have every dragon that we need to finish off the Chrono Isis Rising collection, which means that this event is basically done. We do also have Shuten Doji, who is now ready to be hatched, and so we will be removing him from his very cozy looking egg. So this is the epic dragon that we got from the most recent castle event, and honestly, he's probably like my favourite dragon from this entire divine event that we've had. Not the divines, not anything else, Shuten Doji is where it's at. Just saying. Just saying that Shuten Doji is probably the best looking here. But... He was the other event dragon that we needed to finish off this collection. So basically, we came out of this event without having to spend anything and just earning tons of gems out of it, which is great. So whatever you do, try not to anger the shoot and doji dragon. They have a mighty temper that's as ferocious as their faces. However, these lifelong troublemakers also enjoy a good party. Could they be hiding a friendlier side? Very possible, very possible with Zmei here, but I don't know what it is. I think it's just the entire style of this shoot and doji dragon, and he doesn't look like a cutesy dragon. He looks like a I would rip your neck off sort of look, if that makes sense, even when he's a baby. But in his adult form, he's definitely got a nice, a nice look to him. And I think that him alongside Amano Uzume, you know, it's obvious the theme that they were going for. 100% like Shuten Doji. Amano Uzume was okay, but this is where it's at. Look at those horns. Look at those eyes. Ooh, wonderful little dragon. Definitely glad that we got this one. But this is another dragon complete seas. And so now we could leave our um, breeding den open because we still technically have event to do. But I don't care enough. I'm going to pop Amino Uzume in there. YOLO! I don't care. Because the other thing that we have to get today is a duplicate Anubis dragon. Because I'm actually going to move on to the final level 7 now. Instead of waiting until the final reset. Uh, last time I did wait and I ended up coming first. But I kind of want to see what the bracket's going to look like if I move on now. Just out of curiosity. So we're going to open up this chest and that is going to give us 22 out of 22 for Anubis. And there is my third duplicate Anubis. Very cool. Very epic gaming. And so now this means that we move on to level 7 of this castle event. We can win this special badge. I've already got that last time so I don't care. And apparently, just by getting onto this level, we're at position 77. But as Arya says in replay mode, replay the last room, collect points, and enter the leaderboard. With all the other players, each tile gives you one point, and each chest gives you five points. If you collect enough, you can win a special badge. But that's not the main thing that I actually want out of this. The main thing that I actually want are enchantment materials. And you can get enchantment materials out of the chests. Last time, because the level was super duper cheap, this level overall was really nice for getting bonus uh, enchantment mats. But this time around, it appears there has been a little bit of a change from before. Because you can see that the level itself, you know, the tiles are pretty cheap and we can do the battles to reduce the costs of going each way. But one thing that they did change was the overall cost of the chess. And that is a pretty major thing because it basically makes everything a hell of a lot more expensive. We do also have the map for level 7 in my Discord server if you were curious. Uh, that does show the total cost and I'll show that in a minute. 
But we'll get these two fights done first and then you'll see what I mean. Because people before were saying, you know, for a level 7, like, new edition, this is actually a good thing. Because although they don't care for the leaderboard, we get lots of mats. And we really need enchantment mats right now. This is the problem right here. You get up to the chest and then you realise that it's 2,000 event currency per chest. Meaning that you're not going to be able to actually open up very many chests if you only just get onto the final level now. For instance, and you haven't been saving currency, and I think a lot of people weren't aware that that was going to happen. So if I open up the map that we've got in my DML server, we've got it in the DML event guide section. We've got this map here, and this is level 7, and as you'll see, we've got the total cost for going down each route, and it's about 20,000 for one level, which is a lot. It's a 20,000 currency to get through level 7 once, whereas if we compare that to last time, it's a hell of a lot more expensive. So rather than replaying level 7 like 6-7 times like I did before, we're not going to be able to do that. We're going to open this up, we're going to get some terrible enchantment mats, and you know, every time you get some bad enchantment mats this time, it's going to really suck. Because again, last time, for the effort that we put in, and if you were logging in, past the end of the event, you got decently rewarded. It's the only reason I have so many enchantment mats for my Enroger Dragon right now, and I was really hoping that they were going to keep it, because it was done nicely. But no, no, instead we're going to get some extraordinary energy. When am I ever going to use that? Never. I am literally never ever going to use that, but at least it was an extraordinary this time, instead of the one that we got in the first chest. Uh, it's just so disappointing. It's like they finally had an event where if you'd like play it like every reset and maybe even get a bit lucky with the keys and you finally get on this final bonus level, you can just ignore the leaderboard bit and just get rewarded for stuff. Because everyone needs enchantment mats these days. And what do they do within two weeks? They take them away from us. So it was very disappointing, to be honest, to hear about this 2,000 cost. Like, this is terrible! These excellent fire mats times five. Ugh, it's so, so bad. You know, at the same time, at least every single tile that you get through, you're going to get bonus points for the leaderboard. But it's just... Ugh. I don't know, last time, because it was so cheap, it was really boring having to go through all the level, I'll be honest. I really didn't like that. It was just terribly boring. So the overall cost being a little higher in terms of making it shorter, I don't mind. But, you know, I sort of accepted, look, it might be really boring, but at least I'm getting enchantment mats out of this that are of like a decent quality and I'm getting quite a few of them. So I, I can take it. I, I can take this boring annoyance as long as I'm getting rewarded. Now, you're going to have fewer chances to get anything of value. So I just cannot... I cannot see the worth of even doing this, to be honest. Maybe you'll get one or two chests if you're lucky that have, say, divine mats. Aside from that, it's uh, excellent water mats. Great. Ugh. It's, it's just very depressing, to be honest with you, but hey, DML is known for doing whatever they can. As soon as you praise them for doing something right, doing something that feels nice, doing something that, like, you could say, Hey, Gameloft, thank you for doing that. Guaranteed 90% of the time they're going to remove it. I mean, at least for this castle event, they didn't remove the, um, the increased elements that you can use per battle like this is great that we can do the battles with most main elements like divine ancient exact for example but if they remove that as well if we ever get another castle event my god it will be a complete total ruiner oh wow excellent wind mats thank you game loft i really really wanted those that's so good game loft but yeah Basically, for 15,000 currency, you can't even get through a single level. It's 20,600 per 
level 7 reset, which means that that's multiple resets worth of currency. So you're not going to be able to make your way through this level many times, and there aren't many chests, so you're not really going to get any enchantment mats out of this. Apparently I'm in position 1 at the moment, but people might still be saving their event currency, they might be, um, you know, waiting to use it right at the end. So don't assume that I'm going to be coming first again. I don't even want to come first again, I want to come top 10, because then at least I'll get some enchantment tickets. That's what I actually want, I don't care about this badge. This badge can, can pish off, to be honest. Um, I don't care, at all. But yeah, that, I guess that was my mini rant about that. It was just so much better in the first iteration that they brought out. I think it's kind of like um, the ancient board event that had Arya in it. Even though I couldn't do it at the time because of my life schedule, um, a lot of other people did manage to get everything out of that. And then they decided to nerf it because they thought, wow, this is too easy. So even though for players like me, it still wasn't doable because of my life schedule, they still decided to nerf it in the subsequent Ancient events. They've made it slightly better these days, but uh, I just... It's its disappointing when you get given something that it's like, you know what, this is okay, if not very close to okay, and then their response is to just nerf all of it. Very disappointing. But anyway, this is basically me summing up this event. We will come back when we've got all of these dragons hatched and we actually get Chrono Isis, we're gonna get Melvin. So, we have a lot of stuff to look forward to dragons-wise. And then, of course, on top of that, the other thing that we've got to be looking out for is going to be the next special treasure hunting event. That will be... I'm sure we'll get some news about that soon with the pet dragons, as I posted in the community tab before, so stay on the lookout for that. But overall, I guess one thing I can be thankful for is that this final Divine Fest was very doable for free-to-play players and people that didn't want to spend in general. Very, very doable. And uh, I just hope that the next way that they release Divines is in a similarly accessible way. Because if they make it more difficult than this, less options in terms of what you can take from the altar, I'm not going to be too thrilled about it. One final thing that I will share with you is if you've got any leftover talismans and you're not going to be able to get another dragon with them, if there's a dragon that you haven't unlocked and have no pieces for, what you should do is click get pieces and get a single piece of that dragon so that then it will at least remain in your... Uh, you'll be able to see it in the section where you can see all the dragons in the shop then. Because as long as you've got a single piece of the dragon, you'll be able to see it in there. So, for example, I could take, like, a piece of uh, Freya, and then it'll appear in that shop bit. So, you can just pick any dragon that you want to have appear in there if you want. Doesn't really mean anything to me, but that's one thing that you can do. Just as a little extra tidbit. Doesn't really make any difference, but be aware of that. Anyway... Best of luck, I hope that you got everything out of this event, and stay tuned for Hades coming in the dungeon next week, but I hope that you got the divines that you want, and uh, I hope you've got a good team going now. Hopefully. <laughs>